Hi, I'm Dante Centauri. Welcome to Great Lakes Science Center. And right now we're gonna take a look at our Strange Attractors exhibit. Yes, Strange Attractors. One thing you might find out is that even if you do this a number of times, it's really hard to sometimes get the exact same result, even if you release the pendulum from almost the exact same position, because it gets really complicated when you add more and more of these forces. But you could do something like uh, release the pendulum from the same point multiple times, see how many times it enters each quadrant. A different student could be in charge of each color, and they record how many times they see the pendulum enter their quadrant. Now you could just see just now, after several times of going back and forth, Something happened on one of those passes. It got just close enough to one of the magnets to nudge it, and then that magnetic force sent the pendulum on a completely different track, and now it's going almost at a completely right angle from, uh, from uh, what I started with. And this kind of unpredictable nature of this is why it's called the strange attractors, because uh, mathematicians and physicists like to study something called chaos theory. It's kind of like how the weather works because you really can't predict it. And sometimes small little changes in your, your starting points can have huge differences in the end. And that's not all you can do with the Stranger Tractors exhibit. The, the great thing about stuff like this is that it's really uh, up to your imagination. Uh, you could put different positions in the magnets. Uh, you know, we could see what happens, see how close you could get a magnet to get the uh, the pendulum to stand still or maybe get captured by one of the attractive magnets. Uh, just leave it up to your imagination and just have fun uh, fooling around with this and, and studying movement and magnetism. That's our Strange Attractors exhibit. Have fun with it here at the Science Center and uh, look for other exhibits that tie into it. We have different pendulum exhibits. We have the chaotic pendulum. You can see the chaotic motion, um, but this time it's not being driven by magnetism. Um, and if you want to follow the magnetism angle, we have different exhibits like our, our magnetic uh, train that shows how uh, maglev trains work. Um, so there's a lot of connections, a lot of fun with that uh, here at Great Lakes Science Center.